I hereby declare the winner of the Mondstadt Regional Final of the King of Invocations Grand Prix is... Timmy! Wow! Timmy won! That's amazing! <sighs> I was beaten by the best. Timmy's a tough opponent. He had me on the back foot the entire time. <laughs> it's all right. You don't need to comfort me. This must be the journalist from Fontaine you mentioned earlier. Charlotte, was it? Enchanté. I'm Kaya, cavalry captain of the Knights of Favonius. I trust you're enjoying your time in Mondstadt? The pleasure is all mine. Mondstadt's reputation as the city of song and freedom is truly deserved. The mood here is simply delightful. <laughs> I'm glad you're liking it. Oh, by the way, I couldn't help but notice you all rushing towards the city's side gate earlier. Did you find something? I couldn't get it off my mind, even during the competition. Hmm, I see. So, it seems we have an answer to Kaya's question from earlier. What the card snatcher's really after is these card bags. But we still haven't figured out why he cares so much about them. Hmm. Well, while I'd love to accompany you all to Liyue Harbor, I'm afraid I still have my Knights of Favonius duties to attend to. In fact, our top priority right now is strengthening Mondstadt's defenses. Treasure hoarder activity has been increasingly rampant lately. Don't worry, we'll keep you in the loop if we find anything. In fact, if Charlotte's journalistic instinct is on point, you'll probably be reading her exclusive report in the Steambird before long. Wonderful. Then I look forward to reading all about it. <laughs> Thanks for supporting quality journalism. Okay, let's take tonight off and head to Liyue Harbor tomorrow. It'll give me a chance to write down ev everything that's happened today. Oh, Paimon wanted to ask. See the two people on this poster? Are they the inventors of Genius Invocation TCG? They look so young. Maybe, but very little is... Whether they've been living under a rock this whole time or just aren't interested in fame, I don't know. But hardly anybody has ever seen them. The poster's probably just an artist's impression to capture the general look and feel of the duo. Beyond that... Sounds like they're a couple of socially reclusive scholars. If Paimon were in their shoes, she'd be showing up to all the events, signing autographs, selling cards, and probably getting complimentary food and drink. <laughs> I approve. And to top it off, you could play a few rounds of Genius Invocation with everyone. I was reading up on the game's inventors before I came to Mondstadt. I was originally hoping to arrange an interview with them. But I soon discovered that there's no mention anywhere of where they live or of any Genius Invocation events that they've attended. It's as if they've designed the game and then never played it again. Either they don't want to play the game, or they're unable to. But they must have their reasons. I wonder if they'll show up at all during the King of Invocations Grand Prix. Maybe, if you get lucky. And based on my experience, the Traveler seems to have no shortage of that. Oh, really? Well, that gives me one less thing to worry about. Anyway, our focus is still on tracking down the Card Snatcher. I heard Snezhnaya has an old saying. If you try chasing two rabbits at once, you'll only end up empty-handed. Well, the Traveler and Paimon can always split up and chase one rabbit each. Oh, okay. Now Paimon's feeling hungry. We can worry about all this later. Right now it's time to get some grub. <laughs> you can always trust Paimon to know where life's priorities lie. The tournament has brought quite a crowd, so there's a lot of fun to be had around the venue. <laughs> 